Hey guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. In this episode, we're going to be taking down Hammerman, defending against Hammerman. So I already did all the attacks, made the base changes. It would have been a super long video if I didn't. So let's go and show you the attacks. So he's on the hunt. That's a little icon that comes up when he's there. And it says, our base was raided by Lieutenant Hammerman. He has a 5% damage, 5% health troop health boost and these are I think I, I couldn't see the levels but I'm pretty sure they were max level he sends out three boats of different types of troops and you have to try to defend so this is my old base I just wanted to see what I would stand and see how strong he is and he is very strong so these are a lot of warriors these are 64 warriors going on my base and this is what it would look like if somebody just deployed 64 warriors and did nothing um now he doesn't use any gumbo energy, which is something I noticed. Like, he doesn't place a random shock down on the beach, and he doesn't place a random artillery. I think in one of the videos it did show him placing artillery, but I don't know about that, guys. You have to tell me down below if you saw him place artillery or place any building things. So, he would have beat me in my la in my next base if I if if he used artillery and stuff like that. So he places down all of his troops. Um, wait a minute. So I think he actually places four. Yeah, he actually places four bits of. Okay. So I I, I like a lot. Yeah, he places four four troop clumps, and we'll see how that goes. So the goal I figured out a goal, guys. I figured out a way to beat him. Okay. You want to take down one boat before the next boat comes. Because if a, if you don't destroy a whole boat but before the next boat comes, it's just going to be harder and harder for you to kill. And each boat has like a period of 5 seconds apart, so you, you need to destroy them super fast. So, um, I read, I read, I read, I, oh my gosh. I redesigned my base and, okay, so I redesigned my base and it's, it's not... Uh, it's not good against players. Players are going to be easily be able to defeat it, guys. And my fear behind that is I don't care if players are able to defeat it. I don't want to do this every six days because it is a challenge. It took me half an hour. It's just moving around my base and it's going to take me even longer. They need to add base edit mode or save bases mode. So that's it, guys. I lost a lot of troops. Yes, these, well, these aren't even maxed. Okay, so the next base, the next one, I made up a new base. I'll show you... That's my base, and the goal was to take out the warriors first. So that's why the mines are up front and the machine guns. So the goal is, you're always gonna be hit by. Ooh, it's lagging a lot. You're always gonna be hit by some type of building, and as you see here, the machine guns are tearing apart those warriors. That's the goal. Uh, flame in the back, mortars, and everything behind that. So I destroyed one boat before the next boat comes. So now these warriors, because in my first base, the warriors took out the very front of my base. So I needed to destroy those warriors fast. So as you see here, those mortars do damage. Everything does damage. And all we have left are the heavies. Now those medics were total, like, I, I was getting pretty annoyed at those medics. Those medics are just running around healing troops. But they're not going to do too much against us. So at this point, I was like, okay, there's no way I'm going to defeat this. I'm going to have to pick up a new base. But I actually did defeat it. So there's two mines on the top right, the top left. And you'll see this here. This is the best mine place. Of, boom! Half of his half of his riflemen die instantly, which was awesome. So these medics aren't able to heal these guys that fast because they're only they're pretty low level medics. Okay, so the last boat goes in. It's pretty much all zookas, and it's just gonna tear apart my base. But it didn't have any heavies in front of it, so they're all gonna die. And as you know, guys, as uh, from my recent videos, you can't you have to have a tank force with Grenaders and Zookas, so he didn't have a tank force, so his Zookas died instantly. Um, and Grenaders, they, I was, I was being scared when I saw Grenaders because I didn't realize that they, he used Grenaders the first battle. Um, let me just speed this up a little because the Grenaders the first battle, guys, it didn't do much. But this, these are all clumps, so that's why it did much. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you leave a like, be sure to leave a like. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Till then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.